The Square Kilometre Array is a project to build a telescope with roughly a square kilometre of collecting area, which would be around 70 times the size in area terms of the largest telescope that currently is on the Earth, the Very Large Array in New Mexico. The telescope will be sighted in a very deserted part of the world, probably South Africa or Australia, uh, where there aren't people around to provide radio frequency interference, which is the big problem working at the sort of wavelength the SKA is going to try to observe at. Because you can't make a single telescope that's got a square kilometre in collecting area, the telescope is going to be divided into about 3,000 separate small chunks, each of which will be sighted individually over something like 3,000 kilometres of nice empty desert. The wavelength it'll operate at will run from round about uh, one metre to around about 10 metres. It's doing those wavelengths in order to find neutral hydrogen at redshifts out to around 10 or 15. That is, looking at the leftover gas that's being reheated when the first stars and galaxies in the universe formed. We understand with the Big Bang theory how gas cooled down from the Big Bang what we don't understand is how the new structure that formed earlier on in the universe than today reheated that and made the universe go uh, hot again.